Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this is Mimic by Sands Minds. But before I talk about the stuff you actually want me to talk about, please can you like and please can you subscribe to my channel and please can you hit the little bell icon because that gives you notifications for when I post stuff and sometimes it's not reviews, it's vlogs and things like that and discussions. Uh, can you also please check out my card magic course, that's cardmagiccourse.com, have a look at it. Um, you, you can sign up for a free couple of downloads there that you can get uh, but then it's 9 99 for the whole thing and there was there's all you're going to need there to become the car magician you want to be. A great compliment to all the books you've got, all the DVDs, and it really goes into depth on those moves. Uh, that'll make you a superb magician. So here we go with a review. You got the card in your head, all right? And I genuinely haven't seen it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, why didn't I? Just... I should have been like, a bit higher. All right, Lorna, is it a red card? I'm going to show you one card that's risen to the top of the pack, all right? Is that it? No. No, I didn't say it was, did I? <laughs> <laughs> you said it could be. Yeah, it was meant to be. All right, well, we'll, we'll, try, we'll try something else. Watch. I'm going to rip... The reason I'm ripping it, by the way, it's almost like a fingerprint now. Right? If, if that matches that, you know it's... And actually, what I'll do is I'll put this, this nice and safe. Um, um, can you put your hand out like that for me? All right, and look, this, this matches, all right? Watch. Your card was a what? The ace. ace yeah. Watch one, two, three. It just goes oh straight through. Oh my god, through. that's so weird. There. Yeah, that was my card. You can see that that's now turned into the ace. So where's where's the other bit of the card? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I've had this. I've had well, I've had this. I haven't had it that long actually. It's been out a while. This isn't a, a new trick, but I wanted to review it, and I've been reviewing lots of Sans Mind stuff, which means making lots of stuff, which takes me a long time. Uh, but finally, managed to take this out, and I'm really happy to say that this out of all of them this has definitely been my favorite i saw the a trailer for this not that long ago actually my friend showed it to me in a magic shop and said yeah this does look really good doesn't it and i saw it and i kind of looked at it and went yeah it does look good but it can't look that good it's you know don't get sucked in steve and i kind of went yeah and, but i couldn't i couldn't get it out of my head because I, I was really intrigued about it and that intrigue is why i suppose i like it because it kind of does live up to the intrigue so first of all the the effect is a strange one it's which again is why I like it and why some people might not. It's it's a kind of melt, a corner melting through a card onto another card, but it's a kind of sucker trick if you get it wrong. And then it's, it's I, you know, look, you, you, you'll see it, I'll, I'll show you, but rather than me try and you know, struggle through trying to explain it. But it is interesting because when you're doing it, you kind of have to think about what you're trying to achieve. And then you realize it doesn't matter because it's so visual. It's such a kind of, well, which I think Sam's minds are very good at, whether you like the process or not is a different thing, but it, it it's again, another one that makes people go, oh, and really kind of get that, that little gut punch, uh, which, which I have witnessed three times today. And it just goes straight through. What? The card. So good things are, for, well, let's all talk about the, <laughs> everybody wants to talk about the process, don't they? The making it. What's this like in comparison? And I've had nightmares with, I've sat there for hours, you know, struggling and not having the right thing. And then, so first of all, I will say it's, and by the way, sorry, it's a bit noisy. It's so hot in my office. It's like a sauna because as soon as it gets cold outside, they whack it up. So there's a bit of noise outside, but um, it's, not bad it says 15 minutes and it wasn't that far off actually you get basically one thing in here you, it's quite nice to open it and not get like loads of bits of paper and cardboard and stuff so you get one thing and that's quite makes you feel like, oh yeah this isn't going to take long and, it, and then it takes you a bit longer than you think cause you've got to make a couple more of the things and also i will say it took me a little bit longer than i thought so i was feeling quite positive about it first and i thought oh i don't really get it how's it um but it's really not a problem. You're not going to need much else. All you're going to need is a bit of double-sided steak, an exacto knife, of course, um, and the double-sided tape. And uh, what else? Did I use anything else? I think that was pretty much it. Yeah. So I've actually shut the window, so I'm going to start sweating in a minute, but never mind. Um, so uh, all, all the other thing you'll need is a dupe. I don't know I'm giving away too much, am I, there? Um, but that's pretty much it. And you're going to have to doctor some cards. But it, none of that takes very long. And 
And what I did, the minute I got the hang of how it was all meant to be set up, and there is a little bit of a setup, you know, so you, you're probably going to want to have a deck kind of already set. Um, and the reset is is pretty quick. Once you get how it all goes together, and I've, I've talked about this a lot, where you kind of sometimes get a trick and you do it, but you don't know how it works. I spend a bit of time with it. I've said this with the uh, Thought of Cards Across. Um, with Morgan and West, you know, I, I really get how it goes together and why it goes together. And that's not, that makes it sound like it's a big deal. There really isn't much to set up. It's very quick. And what happens is if once you get it, you do the trick, walk around, go, and, and then you, you can reset for the next one if you've prepped a few cards and that prep is very, very minimal. So uh, really not a bad process at all. And the, you know, the connection between the time you spend and how good the effect is is very important isn't it because sometimes you spend a lot of time doing something doing and going yeah it's all right but this is the other way around it's not that much time and the effect is like i said my favorite one so good and bad good is it's original or, or well, some of you may be looking at it going no i've seen a similar thing and that's absolutely fine but to me it was original i looked at it and went wow that looks really unique um it kind of made me laugh cause it was so ridiculous i couldn't it it uses an illusion that I kind of couldn't stop looking at once I knew when you when you're it's, it's quite good fun in it when you're making something and then you go oh right and it really made me chuckle and I really really like it and it, you do look at it and go I'll tell you what it reminded me of the first time I ever did the, the joke and no Britain does this brilliantly in the show when um when you pretend that there's a bit of wallpaper peeled off and you can also do it on the back of a playing card you know you, you get like a diamond of of paper wet one bit of it fold one bit over it looks like someone's but it looks brilliant it kind of reminded me a little, it's not the same thing, but it reminded me a little bit of that when you look at it and go, God, once you have that paradigm shift of seeing something, you can't unsee it. And then you get the thing of going, oh, now I've seen it, I can't unsee it, am I going to get away with it? And you totally do. Whether it takes time or not, it's also quite easy. Okay, that's important. It might be quick, but you don't have to have any skill. Um, the angles are interesting. There's two versions of this, which I'm sorry, I should have said at the beginning. Um, one version it is at angly. All right, and I didn't even bother making that up because I don't think. I mean, he does say and it's Jason Yu. He says um, the more angly one is looks a bit better. I don't think so at all. I think once you know, you could say it looks a bit better. But I just stick with the one that isn't angly. It looks brilliant from all angles. There's a little bit of misdirection to use, which might for some of you when you do, you might think, "Am I going to get away with that?" You totally do, and he gives you a really good way of doing it. I just basically did it very blatantly uh, when they weren't looking. <laughs> That's what this direction is, isn't it? What was that? Uh, no, I mean, I did, it, it, it just flew because you just talk and by the time you've done the dirty work, it's, it's completely fine. Um, there really isn't anything negative. The only thing I would say is it comes with a template-y thing. Um, I would have liked that to have been metal. Now, I understand that. I understand that's going to be more expensive and I probably will get one made up. But when I was cutting it, and it's totally my fault, I've always got a Sans Mind disaster story. This wasn't, but it nearly was. I was looking at the video whilst cutting with a very sharp knife, which you don't really want to do. You want to look at where you're cutting. That's what I recommend you do. If you're going to cut something with a very sharp knife, I reckon looking at it. Um, <laughs> not the screen, but I kind of thought I'd be right, and then it kind of slipped. Um, nearly cut the the template thing and nearly cut my finger. It didn't, it cut and, and everything was fine. But I would just, if you're pressing really hard and you've got a slightly blunt knife, look at the thing and just make sure you don't go into the plastic. So, but it's, it's, a, it's a minor, uh, minor quibble. Um, yeah, that's it. It's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. I think it's really, really good, really clever. And one thing, you know, Sans Mind's Creative Labs, they're called, and they are creative. Now, I know a lot of people have got a problem with their stuff by the comments I've had you know, scams minds, all this sort of stuff. I don't, I think that that's a bit strong. I think sometimes it can be frustrating, but it does come from a creative place. And I think sometimes with that stuff, I think you should have waited a bit longer and made them a bit. But, you know, I have, I, I don't think any of it's terrible. And I think it's, it's, there's some good stuff there. And this one's really recommended. I'm sure you will use this, properly use it once you do it. And so there you go. Yay. Mimic. Have a look at it. Um, it's not that expensive. Don't know how much it is. I can't remember, but I'll put it down below. I'll put the links below. Um, please go and look at cardmagiccourse.com. Just had a lovely um, message this morning. It was on one of the um, the comments, actually, saying someone's just joined up and they really, really like it, really enjoying it. So there you go. I think it's on the comments of the uh, silent treatment uh, or the holder. 
Uh, so there's a testimonial for you. But uh, please like and subscribe. Please share it. That'll be lovely. And any comments are always gratefully received. Um, that'd be great. So have a great one. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.